this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and I'm in studio today with Ellen Page and David Frayne. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey. Good. Good. Yeah. Good We're thinking. here to talk about The Cured. Tell me a little bit about this movie. Obviously, it's a zombie movie, but it's a different kind of zombie movie. Mm. Uh, we like to say it's kind of the, the, the zombie film where other films end, so it kind of, it takes the idea of a cure for this infection, and it, it starts with these people being um, cured and reintegrated back into society after they're infected. So it's about kind of how they deal with the trauma of what they've done, and how people take them back in, and how society kind of recovers from that. So it's a, it's a, yeah, a unique zombie film. Yeah, so when people come out of the mm. state of being a zombie, they remember what they've done. Mm. Um, and also, I noticed that they it, there's a depth to the zombies here that you really haven't seen in any other movie. Like, usually they're just mindless brain eaters, but you've imagined a world where they, you know, there, there's a system within that. Yeah, we really infection. want to make sure we, we kind of put our own imprint on this. So f our, our infected behave more like wolves, like animals, so they have their own kind of intelligence, they hunt together, they communicate. Um, so it's, it's a much more complicated system than a normal just brain-eating zombie. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of interesting because when they come back with the cure, that relationship they had, the alpha-beta relationship, kind of comes back with them and it kind of complicates their guilt a little bit. So yeah, it's just putting our own twist on it. Yeah. Um, Ellen, tell me a little bit about your character and uh, how you got involved in the film. Sure. Um, well, I got involved because I was sent David's script and I just was so compelled and moved and thought it was such a fresh new take and um, and watched his short films, which are fantastic. So I just felt lucky to be a part of his first feature. And um, um, yeah, I play Abby, whose husband died during the zombie outbreak and she's been outside of Dublin for years with her son as it's, you know, um, being, um, everything's being put back together and the situation's being dealt with and um, so she sort of, you know, returned to life trying to create a sense of normalcy and routine for her son and then brings in her brother-in-law, played by Sam Keeley, and allows him to stay while he's recovering from being formerly infected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you get any, did you have any inspirations from what's happening now in the world? I see tinges of like the economic collapse. I'm seeing a little bit of the refugee problem. Um, where, where were you pulling your inspiration for your character? There's lots of different themes and one thing I've noticed doing press and hearing people's responses is so many people have different ideas or it's meant something different to them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think David did a great job, like a lot of these films do, where they sort of parallel issues in contemporary culture. And um, so for me, it was I don't, all kinds of things. And in the last week of pre-production, Trump got elected. So uh, it was yeah. easy to pull out a lot of anger and, you know, sadness Fear. at that time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When, when I started writing it, um, it was when we had the big recession in Ireland and Europe and there was lots of protests and it's when we had the rise of, of popular, pol populist politicians there um, like Farage and Builders who were exploiting the fear around them. Um, and again, we never imagined Trump would happen, but happen, but he was a symptom of what was happening then. You know, he exploits the fear around him and he exploits the anger around him for his own ends. And that's why Tom in, in, in the script, the antagonist, is a politician who essentially does that. Um, and he doesn't get his hands dirty, but he is essentially responsible for, for what's right. going on. A master manipulator. A master and manipulator. an alpha. <laughs> and an alpha, yeah. yeah. The social thriller is having a big comeback this year, probably because of you know, all of the things that we're mentioning, um, but also the enormous success of Get, Get Out. Um, but the, the character of a zombie has always been a stand-in for something else. Um, can you talk a little bit more about how you decided to use the zombie within your... Yeah, I mean, I've always been a fan of, of the genre of zombie films, and they've always been a great way of kind of analogy for society. Um, but I think as... as um, We've been progressing at the moment, and 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 the world's becoming scarier and scarier. Horror films in general are a great way of, of reflecting what's going on. It's a more emotive way, like like as you said, Get Out, which is which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, I think it's kind of natural that 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 horror films are are, are having a moment. What was the first movie that inspired you as a child? Mm. Wow, um, for me it was 
I, I saw Terminator 2, I destroyed that VHS when I was like 10, 11, and that just opened up the, the potential of cinema. And then I very brief, um, shortly after that, saw Three Colors Red. And I think it was the two of them together and just, they're so different, but they both really opened up the, the potential of cinema for me. So I think those two mm -hmm. together kind of inspired me to be a filmmaker. Are, are you attracted to that kind of bleak, dystopian kind of world, that future that's just... Slutty. It's very familiar, like yeah. your environment that you're existing in The Cured mm -hmm. is very familiar, uh, but it's just pushed a little bit further into the future. Yeah, I mean, I've always loved that, that genre in, in literature and in cinema, and I think it's about taking things that do very often happen in the world but you don't necessarily see in, in Ireland or America, you know, just like The Handmaid's Tale or, or, or Children of Men. So yeah, I think they're, um, it's great. It, it's kind of, it's a really good way, again, of reflecting society. Ellen, do you have a movie that inspired you as a kid? KT would be one for sure, and Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. you know, I was like utterly obsessed um, and scared. Um, and uh, and then probably more in terms of being inspired, like as a teenager, as movies like Ratcatcher and um, and a lot of Canadian independent films films too that are like less seen, like a movie called Last Night uh, that Don McKellar directed. And, mm. Yeah. Mm. And did you have a favorite horror movie growing up? Mm. I couldn't really watch horror movies. Yeah. I'm bad. I mean. I, I saw the um, Romero films when I was a kid and loved them, um, but I saw, I mean, Jurassic Park isn't a horror film, but I was petrified of the dinosaurs, and that, particularly the, the wingy one. With, oh, yeah. With, so oh, yeah. I had that poster over my bed as a kid, <laughs> and, and I refused to take it down, but I didn't sleep for about three years with it. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, so Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um, you know, the, this movie talks a lot about kind of integrating uh, people who've been traumatized back into society. Mm. Um, you know, do you have an opinion on that? Like how, where we go when our society has been through something that's incredibly divisive, how do we bring people back in? I mean, I know you're not supposed to solve the world's problems today, but do you have any <laughs> I thoughts I wish we on could. <laughs> um, I mean, I think, I, I don't have a solution to anything, but I think the, if there is any kind of message, it's that you can't let fear rule your lives or your politics and you have to um, be welcoming and be human and which I think is something we're, we're forgetting at the moment in in America in Europe everywhere at the moment is we're we're treating people like a contagion and we're not treating them like humans anymore um, and that's that's what's happening with asylum seekers in Europe and refugees and and, and here with build the wall and all that grotesque stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it's just we have to start treating everyone like humans again, which, which we've forgotten. Mm -hmm. And um, if, there was a, if there was a movie that you would want to pair with your own, like a double feature, what hmm. would you suggest people see oh, wow. when they see The Cured? That's, that's a really good question that I don't have an answer to. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I love Children of Men, I always have. Um, yeah. And I think that, uh, just because I love it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. Um, I think that uh, you'd have to bring a whole box of tissues with you if you're going to watch both of the both yes. of your movie yeah. Children of Men at the same be, time. Yeah, pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe go out and have a have a sunny day. After maybe that. actually, maybe then they should double bill like with uh, some like Billy Wilder's The Apartment. Just a good comedy. Right. <laughs> just a, just a good antidote. Like, oh, we're safe. We're yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Finding yeah. Nemo. <laughs> Finding me would be great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, perfect. And Ellen, last question to you. Um, you have a moment in this role where you get to kind of be a bit of an action star. I, mm -hmm. I won't spoil it for anybody. But how did it feel to kind of be put in the position where you have to like get a little uh, physical with the zombies? Um, I really enjoyed it. I love playing uh, physical roles, and um, this got to have a, a lot of that moment. So that for me was really enjo enjoyable, and a lot of those sequences that David did were so fantastic and uh, so really enjoyable enjoyable to choreograph and film. Yeah. And you didn't have, like, we did have stuff. You didn't use a stunt double once. You just went for everything. You were so fun. kind of... Adrenaline hooked, it was great. Yeah, I mean, one thing I noticed about your character is so vulnerable, is put in such a vulnerable position of being, you know, uh, just uh, exposed to so many people who could be threatening or dangerous. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, I'm not sure what's going to happen, you know. So it, 
it, it's pretty great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you for having us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.